Um, I'd like to uh, now present the Blessed Father Basil Moreau Award to Brother John Page. Brother John Page is from New York and earned a bachelor's degree in physics from the University of Notre Dame, holds master's degrees in mathematics from Wesleyan University and in applied theology from the Graduate Theological Union, Berkeley, and was awarded a Doctor of Philosophy degree from the University of Maryland at College Park. He began his teaching career as a founding faculty member of Holy Cross High School. There he served as a teacher of math, science, and theology, coached track and field, chaired the mathematics department, and was the first athletic director. He also served as academic dean, principal, board member, and president CEO at secondary schools sponsored by the Congregation of Holy Cross in Connecticut and Maryland. Brother served at St. Edwards University, Austin, Texas as an associate professor and dean of school of education. In July 2004, he was elected to a six-year term as vicar and first general assistant of the Congregation of Holy Cross in Rome, Italy. Brother also served as president of Holy Cross College at Notre Dame, Indiana from 2011 to 2017. In January 2018, he was appointed assistant dean for high school programming at the Dreben School of Education, University of the Incarnate Word, San Antonio, Texas. Presenting Brother John with this award is former student Bob D'Amico, class of 1972. Congratulations, brother. Come on up and say a few words. Well, good evening, everyone. My, my first words are thank you to the community here at Holy Cross High School uh, for this recognition and this honor. Uh, actually, I may be the only living first faculty member uh, left to be honored, but we'll, we'll, we won't go that way. <laughs> I am most grateful. I am most grateful to be honored and to be back here in Waterbury. I'm especially grateful for those who have organized every detail of this event. Your loving attention to the details of this evening and this day are, are really special. You know, for me, this place, Waterbury, Connecticut, and Holy Cross High School in particular, is a holy place in my own salvation history. Holy Cross was my first ministry assignment after college and initial formation in the Brothers of Holy Cross. And being a pioneer brother to open a new school was especially exciting. Uh, some of the class of 72 have already started spinning tales that are mostly apocryphal, I attest. Um, <clears throat> but I have a few of my own, so be careful. The concept, I think, for me anyway, of accompaniment is becoming a mantra for me these days. And thankfully, even as I was just brand new out of formation and out of college, I was accompanied by wonderful mentors here because I had much to learn. Uh, particularly Brother Patrick Halpin, the principal, and Brother Robert Fontaine, the religious superior, were kind and understanding to us young brothers. Very important in your first job anywhere and your first ministry. One interesting memory I'd like to share this evening, uh, I think is worth it. When asked what extracurricular activity I was interested in besides my academic teaching assignment, I told Brother Patrick, the principal, I like cross country running. So he made me athletic director. <laughs> As the TV character, uh, Colonel Klink was fond of saying, I know nothing, <laughs> especially about being an athletic director. And I really didn't. Fortunately, some of the old guard athletic directors of the time took pity and accompanied me. Some of you older folks in the room will remember these names. Ray Tellier, athletic director at Notre Dame High School in West Haven. Joe Fontana, the athletic director in Southington. Uh, and even uh, Ray Legenza in Naugatuck. Famous names here uh, in uh, central Connecticut. They taught me to do what to do and scheduled games and meets and matches with us when other schools were more reluctant to compete with the new all-boys school here uh, in uh, Waterbury. Coincidentally, that duty also gave me the chance to hire giants like Tim McDonald and Jim Cunningham, uh, who have made wonderful, wonderful grand contributions to this school over so many, many years. As a founding member, everything was first in those days. The, the first games, the first dances, the first plays, the first musicals, first retreats, first student protests. Uh, these were the Vietnam Wars, remember? Uh, 
my greatest privilege, however, uh, was teaching the pioneer graduating class of 1972 from freshman through senior year. And all those things, theology, algebra, geometry, physics, uh, Mr. Rinaldi and I were going past classroom 101 and 102 saying, do you remember? We said, I can't believe that's more than 50 years ago. Those were wonderful ideas. And, and I graduated with them after that. So I was here for four years. We went all the way through, and then they kicked me out along with them. <laughs> Although that did give me a chance to be in West Haven and start Jerry Charleglio back in the, in the earning money for a living business. <laughs> that group, by the way, even invited, uh, even initiated co-education here when girls from classes at St. Mary's came up to take physics and our boys from Holy Cross went down to St. Mary's for anatomy. Uh, lots of things have changed in all those years, but change for the good. Since those founding days, I've had many opportunities for leadership in high school and college administration, religious community leadership, religious formation, all over the United States and the world, including serving on the board of directors here from 1987 to 1992. But the accompaniment I felt in those first days from my colleagues on the faculty and the staff, from parents, from the students and from the people in this wonderful community have been a foundation of a happy and a grace-filled and fruitful life for me. And I, I really see this as a, a great, wonderful first home for me in ministry in the Congregation of Holy Cross. Now that I'm retired, more or less, I get to be a full-time accompanier of university administration, principals and staffs of two Catholic high schools, and even prisoners in the county jail in my life and work as a brother of Holy Cross in San Antonio, Texas. But I believe it all began here with a good start in this holy place with you holy people. So thank you. I am honored to be recognized as a part of this community and to continue support of Holy Cross High School for its service to generations of students past, present, and to come. I am most grateful. Thank you.